Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back to another GTA 5 online video now in this video I'm gonna be doing another modded outfit tutorial and what this series is is just me showing off a range of cool Outfits that have just been created using clothing glitches So no modding has been done whatsoever. You can do these legitly with glitches So I hope you do enjoy it and let's get straight into the video Okay, so the first glitch we're going to do for this outfit is the glitch that I showed in my last video and it's how to get an invisible torso after the newest patch. So I'm going to explain it again, but if I didn't explain it in much detail, I'm going to leave a link to that video in the description so you can go ahead and check that video out for yourself. But what you need to do is you need to find these cool work shirts that have been added with the new update and you can choose which colour you want but we're going to be making this cool orange outfit that represents one of the crews. I think it's the ballers in the game and they wear a lot of purple so we're going to be using this purple one. And now I'm also going to add some purple pants as well as some shoes to kind of match the outfit. So now that we've got those, we're going to go ahead and start the glitch. So what you need to do is just put on another t-shirt that allows you to still wear the jacket with it. And once you've done that, you're now going to save the outfit and you're going to put on a coverall. Now you're going to run over to your telescope in your apartment and we're going to do the cool telescope glitch. So what you need to do is run up to your telescope as quick as you can and as soon as your character passes it, you're going to press right on the d-pad and this should kind of glitch your character out. And when he's standing there, you're going to pull up your interaction menu and you're just going to apply the outfit that we saved, our modded outfit. And when you walk away, you should notice that you should be wearing the weird hazmat mask with the outfit. So now you need to go back to your wardrobe and resave it. And now we're going to do probably the hardest part of this glitch or this outfit. And basically, we're going to pull up our phone, we're going to go to quick job, and we're going to join a random capture. Now, this can take a while. It took me forever until I managed to actually get into a job, and they started it. So, once they do start it and the capture is playing, all you need to do is just quit out. So, pull up your phone and just quit the job. So once he push you back in an online session, what you need to do is just reapply our saved outfit. What you're going to do then is you're going to... Go to start, you're going to go to online, go to jobs, Rockstar created, and you're just going to start up any job. I've started up a Titan of a job because it was the first one on the list. Now, once you get into that job and you've started it up, you will notice that your character will have an invisible torso. So what you need to do now is you can go to an ammunition because there are the only stores that are open during the job. And you can go ahead and save the outfit in there. And that is how we get the invisible torso. Now the next thing we're going to do is the cool bandana glitch. So what I did first was I went to the mask shop and I bought uh, one of the bandanas. So there's a range of masks that include a bandana, but they do include the hat and glasses as well. So we're going to do a glitch that I haven't featured on my channel yet. And it's how to get the bandana without the hat and the glasses. And it is very, very simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to purchase the purple one. And I'm also going to purchase the green one just so I can show you how the outfit would look if you went with the green look as well. So once you put on that purple bandana with the hat and glasses, what you're just going to do is you're just going to start up a Titan of a job again. And you can do this with any job, but once you start up that job, you will notice that when you spawn, you will notice that you will just have a bandana and the hat and glasses will have just disappeared. So we're just going to do the same thing. We're just going to go to ammunition and we're just going to save it as well. So now we have a, an outfit that is now starting to look modded because we have now got a bandana without the hat as well. Now the next thing we're going to do is put a hat on our outfit. Now I have chosen this purple hat as again it will match the rest of the outfit but it also is a hat that is a quite unique one as you can wear it backwards. So you can purchase this hat at any clothes store and what we're going to do now is we're going to go to a motorcycle and make sure that you have auto show bike helmet on. You can access that through the interaction menu if you didn't know. And once you put that on, you're now going to put on the hat that I said, so the one that you wear backwards. And now you're going to get on your motorcycle and you're going to wait for your character to put on a helmet. Now once you've put on that helmet, you're then going to get off the bike and as soon as your character has got off the bike, you're going to open up your interaction menu and apply the outfit that we're creating. So the one with the bandana and the invisible torso. And what you should notice is that your character will take his helmet off but the hat that we put on first should now go on to our outfit. So we now have the backwards hat on the bandana and the invisible torso. So it is starting to look pretty cool now. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to put on a duffel bag. Now, if you don't have a duffel bag, again, I'm going to leave a link in the description to a video I did quite a while ago showing you how to get the duffel bag. I believe it is still working. Let me know in the comments if it is or not. But here, I'm going to show you how you can transfer the duffel bag from different outfits. So as you can see here, I have some outfits that have all four duffel bags on it. So I can choose which one I want. But if you have followed my tutorial on how to get the duffel bag after the latest patch, you will have the black one. So what you need to do is get in the helicopter with an outfit that already has the duffel bag on it. And you're just going to get to a distant altitude and you're just going to bail out. Now as soon as you bail out, pull your parachute and as soon as you are descending towards the ground, make sure that you are hovering over our outfit that we have created already. And as soon as your character has hit the ground and, and he's about to take his parachute off, you're just going to apply that outfit and the duffel bag should transfer over pretty nicely. So now I'm going to show you how the outfit looks if you go with a green look. So I'm not going to go through the whole outfit again because it basically just uses the same glitches. You're just using the different coloured clothing. So the green shoes, the green pants and the green work shirt plus the green bandana and the green hat. So let me know in the comment section which one is your favourite, whether it be the purple one or the green one. And also in the comment section, tell me if you've got any other cool modded outfits that you would like me to showcase on the channel. And if there are any good ones, I will showcase them. So I so hope you do enjoy it guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you did. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But with that being said guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.